Klay Thompson's one of the greatest players to don a Warriors jersey because of his massive contributions to the team, much like Steph and Draymond. He's a big part of what the Golden State franchise stands for, but all good things must come to an end. So in this video, we'll talk about how likely it is for Klay to leave the Warriors and which team he might join if he leaves. First up, is Thompson going to retire as a Warrior or not? When people think of the Warriors dynasty, Klay will always come to mind because of all that he's done to help the franchise win four championships. Plus, much like Curry, he's been a regular member of the starting five for years, so it's almost impossible to even think that the shooting guard might play for another team. But recently, Jack Simone of Heavy Sports and his colleague Sean Devaney have said that there are reports suggesting that the five-time All-Star might consider leaving the Bay Area once his contract expires in 2024. Simone named two teams that he believes Thompson might consider playing for besides the Warriors. The first team he mentioned was the LA Lakers, and the other team Jack named was the Portland Trailblazers. Though Jack continued that Killa Clay is pretty much ingrained in the Warriors' culture since he's such a big part of everything they stand for, he added that Golden State loves him and it would be quite difficult to imagine him suiting up for another franchise. Next up, why do those two teams have the best chances of landing Thompson? Well, Clay joining the Lakers would be a sort of a homecoming for him as he was born in Los Angeles and lived there till he was two. Plus, his dad played with the franchise for four years and won two championships with them. The shooting guard might want to try his luck there and contend for a title to further cement himself as one of the greatest of all time. As for the Blazers, they have a good chance of landing the five-time All-Star because when he was two, he moved to Lake Oswego, Oregon, near Portland, and stayed there for 12 years. So Clay has a lot of fond memories of the place and returning to the area as a bona fide star would be a great feeling, especially because because the fans will support him like crazy. Moving on, what if Clay joined the Lakers? 2024 is a while from now, but assuming Los Angeles still has its core of LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook intact, we think the addition of Thompson would be unfair. Think about it. James just won't slow down, and we don't see it happening in two years either. As for AD, he'll still be in the middle of his prime, and while Westbrook may be older, he won't lose his elite playmaking abilities. Even Clay won't lose his unbelievable shooting touch, and that's why we think the Lakers will easily make it to the finals at the very least, especially if they can retain key role players like Dennis Schroeder, Thomas Bryant, and Lonnie Walker IV. Coming up, what if Thompson went to Portland? Portland has their best players locked in for the next few years, so if they can add Kelly Clay to the mix, they'll be one of the scariest offenses in the NBA. And we're talking Warriors-level scary. Damian Lillard is easily the second-best three-point shooter in the league, and the closest thing we have to Curry, while Anthony Simons is already showing glimpses of great at the age of 23 years old, there's no doubt that he'll be even better in 2024. Plus, Josh Hart, Gary Payton II, and Yusuf Nurkic are all terrific role players, and the team will sign more of them when the time comes. If Portland can lure Thompson out of the Bay Area, then the franchise might just win its first championship since 1977. Following that, has the four-time champ talked to the Warriors about a contract extension? When Thompson spoke to NBA.com's Mark Medina back in October of 2022, he revealed that so far, he and the Warriors' front office haven't had any such talks, but he's not letting such topics get to him and highlighted that for now. He just wants to be the best he can be on a nightly basis. Thompson added he's ready to remind everyone of how lethal he can be once he gets going and backed himself up by saying that he knows what he's capable of and is confident in his abilities. The five-time All-Star went on to say that he fully expects to earn another contract from the Warriors, whether it's this summer or the next. Though he emphasized once again that he's not going to worry about the extension for now, since he knows he'll get one as long as he plays well and gets the job done. Next up, what about Thompson's comments after the win against Atlanta? The Warriors and the Hawks went head-to-head -head on the 2nd of January in what was possibly the game of the year. Clay led the Warriors to victory thanks to his insane 54-piece, but following his outburst, he spoke to reporters and said some things that left Dubs fans feeling worried about his future with the franchise. Why? Because his comments legitimately made it seem like he was hinting at the possibility of not being a Warrior for life. Thompson started by telling reporters that he's feeling much better now as compared to the beginning of the season, when he was desperate to prove his critics wrong. Though at the same time, he's realizing that time's basically slipping through his fingers. He continued, we're almost at the halfway point, and after this year, there's only one year left on my deal. So I just told myself, like, man, I got to enjoy every day in a Warriors uniform. Thompson added that he's in an incredible position and living the dream, so he just wants to stay in the moment and soak it all in. When the snippet of the this moment was posted to Twitter, Dubs fans were naturally a little upset because they didn't want to think about the possibility of Clay lacing up for another team if he doesn't resign with Golden State. Following that, would Clay ever want to 
finally, the Warriors. It's no secret that the Dubs want Thompson to retire a Warrior, and let's be real, Clay himself also wants that. After all, he bleeds blue, white, and gold. What's more, the Warriors are gonna be contending for a title as long as Curry, Wiggins, and Poole are there. So why would Thompson want to leave anyway? The only issue is that the Warriors are in a tough spot salary cap-wise. So as much as they want the four-time champ to stay with them, they might not be able or willing to give him the contract he wants. Though we can't say anything for sure, Clay's already achieved so much and earned mad cash, so he could likely take a pay cut since he doesn't have much else to prove. We've seen many players in the past, such as Dwayne Wade and Tim Duncan, do such a thing because they truly cared and loved their respective franchises. Since Clay has a similar bond with Golden State, it's not impossible to imagine that he might take the selfless route for the greater good as well. Now, let's talk about how the Warriors can enter win-now mode. Starting off, an NBA champion just might help Golden State become much stronger. While the Warriors aren't doing too bad right now despite being without two of their best players in Curry and Wiggins, it's clear as day that their younger players aren't ready for prime time. James Wiseman in particular just doesn't fit well on this team, and he's been mentioned in numerous trade conversations, though so far, he's still a Warrior. But according to a heavy article, a league executive thinks that the Warriors could trade James to Chicago for Alex Caruso. Alex is a terrific defender, and he can score those extra points for you as well. Most importantly, he plays with a lot of heart. There's no doubt in our minds that if the Warriors add him to their squad, they'll become much stronger, since they're too reliant on young players as of now. Moving on. What other trades can help Golden State enter win-now mode? The best thing the Dubs can do is send their younger players like Wiseman and Moses Moody over to teams that are rebuilding, in exchange for solid players on that team that are wasting their careers. For example, the Spurs are in the midst of a rebuild, with Keldon Johnson and Devin Vassell leading the charge. Plus, they're gonna hope to land Victor Wembanyama as well, but they're also home to Jakob Pertl, an amazing center who deserves to be on a contender. The Warriors should try to trade Wiseman for Jakob, as this is gonna give Golden State a great, reliable big man, something they've lacked for years. The Spurs will get a young center with potential who can learn, grow, and eventually become great if he's given the chance by Coach Pop. The Warriors could also look to trade for Miles Turner, since he's an elite center that the Pacers have been trying to shop for some time. A package that involves Wiseman, Moody, and a couple draft picks might get the job done. Finally, should Golden State just leave things be? The Warriors are the defending champs, and their core is still intact. They may have lost some key role players, but as the season's progressing, a lot of the young guys like Moody, Patrick Baldwin Jr., and Jonathan Kaminga are coming into their own. While it's risky to rely on inexperienced guys in the postseason, it's not like they'll have to do anything too difficult since Curry, Wiggs, Clay, Poole, Draymond, and DiVincenzo are there to lead the way. Plus, there's still quite a lot of basketball left to be played, and we're sure by the end of the season the youngsters will be ready to help the team at least a little bit. Even if Golden State can't repeat as champs, they always have next year, as the only question mark for next season's Draymond. And if he does leave, the Dubs will look for a replacement who can help them win it all. That's a wrap for this video. Do you guys think Clay's gonna leave the Warriors? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.